It's a great what's called revolution in neuroscience going on. Uh, some great articles recently in New York Times, etc., on this these profound studies of the mind. Uh, neuroscience being the study of the brain, obviously, and uh, getting a bunch of people in a room and asking them certain moral or ethical or theological questions and seeing what's happening in the so-called firing synapses of, of material matter in the brain. And uh, more and more of these neuroscientists are, are declaring that there's something ethereal, something metaphysical going on, something that can't be explained by the cold machine, so-called, of just the brain, matter, acting on matter. There's something else transcending that when you look at meaning and conscience and moral decisions and thoughts of God, that when you light up a CAT scan, uh, or something like that, and you see what's going on, that you can't explain this through just uh, neural response or instinct or, or again, uh, matter acting on matter in the case of the brain. There's something more than brain. There's something that transcends brain, something like mind or soul. Um, you ask a bunch of people a question like, you know, you're hiding out from the enemy and there's a crying baby among you. Uh, how many of you would kill the baby to save yourselves um, versus allowing the baby to continue to cry and maybe be given up to the enemy. And how many, uh, time and time again, will make the decision not to kill the child, but rather, uh, because just on some ethereal, some moral, some conscious basis, that is the right thing to do. That is the correct moral decision. And when you study the brain and you study the waves, there's profound things going on there. There in, it truly is a dualism of brain and mind, not just a monistic brain or an instinctual brain or a cold machine of matter, as many scientists once declared.